I can already tell this video is gonna be a fucking struggle. Koba, if you haven't seen my video where I surprised Oak with this little bear, go and watch it, but he's in that stage where he literally wants to eat everything. Don't you, Kobes? Don't ya? But he's so cute. You gonna join us for today's video? Yeah? You joining us? He's just the cutest ever. But he's a little shit. He has to bite everything. What are you bunny? Hi guys and welcome back to my channel and welcome back for a brand new video. So for today's video I thought we could like chill. I feel like I haven't done like a sit down chatty video in so long. It's been like vlogs, hauls. We're gonna be interrupted a million times by my little best friend, aren't we? I love you. So I thought we could have a little chill, have a chat. It's gonna be like a girl talk, any random questions kind of Q&A sort of thing. I've got myself a cup of tea. These cups, by the way, a little side note, are four for £10 from Starbucks, run, don't walk. So yeah, I asked you guys over on Instagram for some questions. So thank you so much if you asked one. I'll leave my Instagram on the screen here. So if you wanna go and follow to be involved in the next one, go and do that. But yeah, I'm excited to just have like a chill, have a chat. It feels like a girl's night in. Oak's out, it's bank holiday Sunday. I'm on mom duties. So here we are. So in this video, we are gonna be getting a little bit deep. You guys have told me some of your like, personal problems. So bearing all this in mind, I do just wanna quickly tell you guys about an app called BetterHelp. So thank you to BetterHelp for sponsoring this section of the video. Know how hard it can be, like dealing with your own thoughts in your head and feeling like you have nobody to talk. So like, if you've not got that close relationship with your friends or your family, you just wanna to speak to somebody privately, BetterHelp is the perfect way to do it. So BetterHelp has online customized therapy sessions, which you can have through video call, phone call, or just like a live chat which is probably the way I'd prefer to do it because I'm not that type of person where it's like, I can speak to somebody face to face. If I speak to somebody face to face about my problems, I will cry. So to avoid that, I'd probably just go for like the live chat session. So completely up to you which one you feel most comfortable with. But getting signed up with BetterHelp is really easy. All you need to do is answer an online questionnaire and then it asks you some questions like things that you're personally struggling with, some things that you want to speak about, how you'd like to be contacted. This helps to assess your specific needs and assigns you to a therapist within 48 hours, which is like more suited to you so they can understand you better and help you sort out what's going on in your mind. So the thing with me is I've been suffering with really bad like mental like, anxiety ever since having Cobra. I'm just worried about him being okay and like him being all right in the garden and I'm panicking thinking oh my god what if someone comes and steals him or like thinking about future things like when I take him on walks I'm like I'm scared to let him off the lead in case somebody steals him. So I've been speaking to a therapist on better help which has calmed me right down. It's normal to panic, like I feel like I am a mom, even though he's a dog, he's my baby. So yeah, having that conversation with the therapist really helped put my mind at ease. I just look at Cobra and I'm like, oh, I just, I would literally do anything for that dog. So everything's confidential and then once you fill out the questionnaire and met your therapist, you can schedule video calls, phone calls, or you can just live chat to them, whatever you feel most comfortable with. And if you are matched up with a therapist and they feel like they're not for you, you can just switch out your therapist at any time for no additional costs. So if you want to join the 3 million people that have taken charge of their mental health using an experienced therapist, you can use my link www.betterhelp.com forward slash Mooney. I'll leave the link in the description as well. If you sign up through there, you'll get 10% off and it's honestly so worth it. There's literally nothing more important than looking after yourself and your mental health. Now I've got the important message out of the way. It's time to get into your guys' questions on Instagram. So let's go. Cobes. This dog bites my wall one more time. You can have a sip of tea before we get into this. So the first one is feeling like you're not achieving enough in comparison to everybody else. I feel like a lot of people struggle with this like day to day and I feel like especially in the industry that I'm in as well. I feel like there's a lot of competition and you are constantly comparing like what you're doing to say what your friends are doing or what people you, you follow online are doing. Everybody has their own paths. Like what's meant to be will be. Things take time and everything happens for a reason. They're like the top three things that I live by. I know it is definitely easier said than done because there's definitely been points in the past where I'm like, how come I'm putting in all this hard work and like this person's got so many more followers or like this person is doing this, this and this and I'm not. I think once you get past the point of comparing yourself, it's just like, you do need to give yourself like the credit for what you have achieved and where you are right now. Even just like living day to day is an achievement. You need to celebrate like the small wins in your life. Like if you're, say like you've been saving up to buy yourself a specific piece of makeup and you buy it, that is a win. You've worked hard, you've earned your money, you've bought this piece of makeup. Or if you don't like going out on your own and you've like plucked up the courage and gone out shopping on your own or got on the bus on your own or something like that, that is, they're all like big achievements. They're just different to other people's kind of achievements, if that makes sense. So the main thing I would say is definitely celebrate all the smaller wins. Don't constantly compare yourself to say if someone's doing something big and you're not makes no difference what's big to you might not be big for them and everybody's situation is different and your time will come if you're working hard towards something and you feel like you're not quite there yet keep working hard and you'll get there trust me um so the next one is how are you finding working from home 24 7 love your energy by the way thank you uh working from home 
I when I left the bank that was literally the best decision I've ever made in my whole life zero regrets ever since I've left I've been doing like so much better earning so much more money and just loving life like, I was literally I don't want to say I was depressed while I was at the bank but I literally didn't want to get out of bed every morning hated going to work love the people that I work with but the job was just not for me like I'm not a customer service in a bank kind of person so I'm literally living working from home but I do find it quite like what's the word not demotivating but I find it hard to motivate myself to do stuff like a certain amount of things in the day because I'll just be like oh, I'll do this today do this tomorrow I need to be like start being a little bit more like disciplined on myself I did buy a diary and a planner and haven't used those so it's a great start but now that I've got a dog it's literally just the best like I want to spend well <laughs> it's the best for me because I literally love spending every second of my life with the dog I think he's eating something Koba yep he's eating the plastic stuff outside the house great but like in terms of work I feel like I can't do anything because I feel like I constantly have to watch Cobes and what he's doing because he's still a puppy I don't want him to be eating things I don't want him to be chewing up my sofa chewing up the walls I don't know what it is but he's been chewing the walls make that make sense like not even like the corner of the wall but the flat wall he'll be trying to chew the wall so I think it's gonna get, take some time for me to get back into being productive all day every day Oak's out today which is the reason that I'm on mom duties but if Oak's here Oak's watching man be upstairs doing loads but I do just think like the self-discipline I need to be harsher at it <laughs> like I'm getting my work done everything that needs to be done is done but it's currently 20 past 7 on a Sunday night and here I am filming this and realistically I could have done this like in the week when Oak was here I have zero complaints I'm so grateful that this is my job now it literally still it still makes no sense to me like how is this my job i literally i don't know but yeah do love it just need to be a little bit more self-disciplined any advice for saving for a house want to rent but feel like it's dead money i think this is more like personal so if you want to rent you can go rent if you want to save for a house you save for a house i think now though well in every situation rent prices are an absolute joke and then at the end of it it's not yours anyway so you just feel like why am i paying somebody else's mortgage but then saving for a house is also hard because the house prices at the minute as well are stupid. My main advice for saving for a house would be open up a savings account. So me and I had a house to buy ISA when we were saving for our house. And you save by standing order every month to that. So we're just putting £200 every month into our house to buy ISA because that's the maximum we could put in. And because we had that by standing order, we would just class it as like a bill. So when our bills come out, we would obviously like incorporate that £200 going out as well as a bill rather than savings. We just never touched it. We went in there and it stayed in there. I know they don't do how to buy ISAs anymore because they were good because you obviously got the 25% government bonus on top of what you've saved. So that was really helpful as well. But there's things like lifetime ISAs that you can pay into as well. I'm not sure the ins and outs of them. Like I don't know if you can take money out of it or whatever. But even if you just open like a normal savings account and have a standing order set up every month to go out, incorporating like what you see as your bill money going out, like bills to be paid, just kind of like forget it's there. You know what you can do? Open up a savings account with a different bank. And then when you go into your online banking, you won't see your savings account there. So you don't think about the money that's in it. Smart. How to stop feeling so dependent on your boyfriend. I feel like I was very dependent on Oak towards like the start of the relationship. Whereas now, if... I don't want to like jinx anything, but if anything was to happen, I know I'd be completely fine on my own. Whereas if this was me like 18, 19, I would have thought the whole world was going to end because me and Oak weren't together anymore. I think this is more like to do with self-love. Like if you love yourself and who you are and how you are as a person then you don't depend on somebody as much and this is one of the things in the better health app that you can speak about as well like self-love if that's something you're struggling with definitely hop on there and have a chat but i do think it comes down to that because if you're like contenting yourself happy by yourself then you don't depend on somebody like i absolutely adore oak and love having him in my life and i'd be gutted if he went but I know like in me I'd be fine on my own and I do as well I think that comes with age as well because I was like younger when me and I were together and I was thinking oh my god if he left what am I gonna do how will I live whereas now it's like I'll be sad but it is what it is this could be one of them things where you just take yourself on like solo dates go shopping or go spend some more time with your friends if you're not seeing your friends as much just to make yourself realize that one you're good on your own two you've got a good circle of people around you so if anything was to happen you'd be fine and you should want somebody not need somebody that is how it should be it's like we're all our own people but it's nice to have somebody else and to want somebody else but you don't need anybody else all you need is yourself because that's all you've got forever at the end of the day my best friend of five years left me as she remained close friends with my ex who cheated bro she is not a friend she was never a friend if my best friend left me and like stayed friends with my ex when he cheated on me that is muggy that is fake bitch behavior i think it just shows like her true colors like if she was your best friend first but then like 
polish you off for your ex-boyfriend that cheated on you. I feel like that just says a lot about her. And honestly, you're better off without kind of people in your life anyways. I feel like she gives off the vibe where she will probably get with your ex. Maybe that's what's going on. Obviously, it's hard to hear, but you never know. I know it kind of sounds harsh to say, but I'm glad you're not friends with her anymore because if she's that type of person, you're better off without her anyways. You're better off just finding a new group of friends that actually have you back, understand girl code, and just won't do you dirty like that because who does that? Who actually does that? How to deal with the boy you like best friend liking you and them two arguing this is kind of like a sticky one because if you like this does this boy like you back actually if he likes you back then he's falling out of his mate because his mate likes you as well then that's between them i don't think that's something you should get involved with like that's not your problem if you don't like his best mate it is what it is you don't need to get involved in that that's like their problem but if you like this boy and then he doesn't like you back and then his best friend likes you that is just completely orcs and I don't really know what I'd do in that situation to be honest. If I like they're arguing about you, it's a bit of an odd one because we code for one, like if you're with this boy and his best friend likes you, that's a bit dodgy from him. But all I would say is if you like this one boy and his best mates trying to like ruin it or whatever, then there's not really a lot you can do about it. If as long as you and this boy that you like are good, just keep going down that route. And surely that boy would like get the hint eventually and be like, okay, well, he's got her, so I can't have her. So, bye Felicia. How do you deal with stuck up girls in this industry? Girl, I have met, s mm, not so many, but I have met some rude, 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 rude people in this industry. And it's the people that like preach about mental health online are the biggest see you next Tuesdays. A lot of the people that pretend to be everyone's friend online and then they're like, slaggy, mm, I just can't even get into it. I cannot stand bitchy girls, whether it's in the industry or just day to day life, can't stand it, like I'm 23. I don't need this, I don't want to hear it. I feel like it's a little bit harder in the industry just because like you might bump into them again at like an event or something, but I would just not, not talk to them. But like in day to day life, my like way of dealing with people that are snaky, piss me off, or like just not nice people in general, shit stirrers, anything like that, I'll just be like, bye Felicia, cut them off. Not speak to them again and it's like, I just think if they're not bringing any benefits to my life, why would I even stress about them? Why do I need them in my life? Why do I need to talk to these people? Why is the point in wasting my energy? I don't need to. If these people are bitchy, if these people are stuck up, they're just not my kind of people. So I'm just not gonna talk to you. I'm not gonna be like that person that causes drama and like stirs shit and like gives dirty looks out. I'm not that kind of person. I'll just literally just act like you don't exist. And that is my way of dealing with it. This one's not really like an advice one. It's just like, I ask for any questions as well. Do you have scalp bleach? If so, how do you keep it healthy? Underneath all these extensions, I don't have much hair left. <laughs> That's a lie. I do have still quite a lot of hair, but it's just not in the best condition. It's all like broken, especially this like top layer. It is all broken off. The extensions hide a lot of the damage. But yeah, I do have scalp bleach because I don't really want like that highlighted sort of look. Okay, bah. What is his problem? What is actually his problem? Yeah, I don't really like the highlighted look. I do just like it when it's like all one color. Like if I was to have blonde hair, I prefer highlights, but because it's silver, I just like it all solid one colour like this. I think it's quite cute if I do this it myself. But yeah, with scalp bleach, there is a lot of damage. Like, this part of my hair is pretty broken. It's mainly just the hairline. To be fair, this side's even worse, I think. Wow, but I just took that away. And no one will ever know. Right, we're going to do a couple more because this dog has zero patience and needs some more attention from me. Speaking of Cobra, somebody's asked what breed of dog he is. He's a chow chow and he's a little shit. No, he's not a little shit, he's an actual angel, but he's in not that TV and puppy stage where he literally just tries to eat everything. But he's honestly the cutest little thing and buying him for Oak and surprising him was just the best. Oh. It all went so well as well, like I actually managed to pull it off. How did I not tell him I was getting him a dog? How did he not suspect that he was being sent away for two hours for no reason? But yeah, he's a chow chow. Oak's wanted a chow chow literally for years and he's always had the name Cobra in his head. I literally just like, I need to talk to you. I need to stop watching him, even though he's chewing stuff again. Cobra, I literally have to entertain him all day. Just not that, sorry about that. Yeah, he's a chow chow and he is literally like a little bear and he's my child and I'm obsessed with him. Right, we'll do one more because, ah, oh, bestie bullshit got me through my four hour journey. Thank you, I love that. So I'll leave our podcast Spotify thing on the screen and I'll link it down below as well. So me and Shannon actually have a podcast. I don't know how many of you guys know. And we literally just chat shit every week on a Wednesday, just speaking about life, girl talk, confessions, ics, advice, literally anything. 
Do you really need to pick that toy up now? Oh, come here, Baba. He's still too small to jump on the sofa, so every time he jumps up, I have to pick him up. But yeah, I'm not sure if I've actually ever mentioned it properly on my channel, but we do have a podcast. It's called Bestie Bullshit, which the name speaks for itself. It's available on Spotify, Apple Podcasts, and then we've also got a YouTube channel, which is just Bestie Bullshit, if you want to go watch it rather than listen. But yeah, I feel like I've never actually properly plugged our podcast so go listen go rate it five stars go subscribe to the youtube if you want to be involved in it in any sort of way i've got an instagram i always do like questions polls or you can just message us and send us like your confessions or your questions and we'll answer them i feel like that's quite a good one to end on so now i'll go back to doing mom duties so cobes you ready to play so i'm gonna go ahead and end this video here so thank you so much for watching don't forget to check out better help i'll leave all the information down below for you guys and don't forget you can also use my link to get yourself 10 percent off but yeah thanks so much for watching if you did enjoy make sure you give this video a big thumbs up don't forget to subscribe down below for more and we'll see you guys very soon with a brand new video.